Starting off with multivitamins, one of the most popular supplements for not just gym goers, but kind of the general population. If you go to somebody else's house, they may well have a multivitamin somewhere in their medicine cabinet in their bathroom. So the main claims of this are that it, it you know, it's fairly simple. It alters the amount of various micronutrients in your body, now, just through adding them in a, in a capsule form. Is it effective? Yeah, it's effective at giving you more of certain vitamins and minerals. And it's not necessarily dangerous unless you uh, are taking a multivitamin with a really large quantity of fat soluble vitamins or minerals on a, a, a regular basis. At that point, as we covered um, back in module 1.1.3, the one on vitamins and minerals, you know that fat soluble vitamins can build up over time because they're, they're not flushed out every day in your, um, your urine, in your sweat, etc. So if you're taking a multivitamin with lots of fat soluble vitamins in, just be careful and you, you, know, you might wanna stick with something um, that's slightly lower dose. Um, that's a general rule of thumb when it comes to multivitamins. Lower dose ones are probably a bit better for you. Um, they don't come with the same risks that the higher dose ones do. They haven't been demonstrated to be any more effective um, when it, you know, the higher dose ones compared to, to low dose ones. So and they're probably also a bit cheaper for you. Yeah, that's another consideration. Fish oil is another incredibly popular supplement. Um, it's one that's been in the media a lot, um, looking at the various studies saying it is effective versus it isn't effective. Um, so the main claims are, they can generally be summed up under the, the umbrella category of general health. Um, so insulin sensitivity, reduced inflammation, um, improved memory, various effects on the brain. You know, there, there's a, a ton of potential mechanisms out there. And this is because fish oil interacts with your cells in a really complex way um, via uh, some things on your cells called PPARs. I won't go into what that is. You don't need to know. Um, there's some really long words. It's really complicated. Promise. Just stick with me on this one. You can look it up if you want. Now, is, whether it's effective or not is something that's been debated for quite a long time now. And it, the, the research does show fairly conclusively that it can reduce triglycerides, so reduce the amount of fat in your bloodstream. And in the very depressed, it can actually reduce depression. There are a few studies showing that as well. Um, as for the, the other claims, these are slightly more equivocal when it, it comes to the research. By and large, it's probably not a dangerous supplement to take, unless you're taking huge doses um, all at once, in which case it may well interfere with your ability for your, your blood to clot. So generally, um, one to 15 grams of total fish oil per day has been shown to have very few to, to no side effects. The general recommendation that, that I would give is if you like oily fish, or rather don't dislike oily fish, and you can eat it a couple of times a week, that's probably a more effective and slightly cheaper way of getting your fish oil in for, for the week. Mm -hmm.